My paper is entitled, A New Way of Being Church in Today's World, Insights from the Documents of the Federation of Asian Bishops uh, Conferences. Chapter 1 of the Linear Mentor on the New Evangelization calls for a re-evaluation of the church world relationship and invites us, among other things, to search for, and I quote, new ways of being church. Now, how would a new way of being church in multicultural, multilingual, and multi-religious Australia look like? I would suggest that rather than look to Europe for past precedents, and because our, Austra our contemporary Australian society has more in common with Asia than Europe, why not let us take a look to Asia and see what the Asian bishops conferences have done. And so briefly speaking for those of you who are new to this, the FABC or Federation of Asian Bishops Conferences is a transnational body that comprise, fi comprises 15 bishops conferences in Asia as full members and 10 other uh, conferences as, as associate members. And uh, I've written a lot about that and you, you could ask me privately, I'll tell you more. But let's move on. So, if you look at the documents of the FABC, they have articulated a, a new way of being church that is rooted in, and I, I will identify three points for our consideration. Number one, rooted in the immense diversity and plurality of Asia. Under, number two, undergirded by a commitment and service to life. And number three, oriented towards a threefold dialogue with Asian cultures, religions, and the poor as, and I quote, active integral evangelization. First, the FABC seeks to work within the diverse and pluralistic Asian world. Now, while others may consider the diversity and plurality of postmodern Europe and North America as challenges that the church has to confront and overcome, on the other hand, the FABC perceives pluralism as an innate and unique aspect of the Asian social religious landscape and has sought to discover how the Asian church could be at home within such pluralism. For the FABC, pluralism is a source of richness and strength that enables different communities to live and work together beyond mere toleration. Second, the FABC's vision of a new way of being church is undergirded by its commitment and service to life that sees God's spirit as active in the diverse and pluralistic Asian milieu. FABC 6 uses the imagery of Jesus' food washing to root its call for commitment and service to life. And I quote, We join Jesus in serving life by washing the feet of our neighbours. End quote. FABC 7, these 6 and 7 are, are, the, are, the, are the final statements of their plenary assemblies, which is their highest uh, it's, uh, it's, it's an equivalent to a synod. FABC 7 further develops this commitment and service to life in Asia when it calls for the church to be, and I quote, an embodiment of the Asian vision and values of life, especially interiority, harmony, a holistic and inclusive approach to every area of life, end quote. In third, this entails a deep immersion and experiential participation in the lives of these peoples, not as outsiders who visit and live, but as insiders who are bound in solidarity with them. Third, the new way of being church in Asia entails a dialogue with the threefold reality of Asian religions, cultures, and poverty. For the FABC, dialogue is, and I quote, an integral part of evangelization, intrinsic to the very life of the church, an essential mode of all evangelization, and a true expression of the church's evangelizing action. End quote. More particularly, and I quote again, dialogue is ecclesia. It is the very being and life of the church as mission. End quote. While FABC 5, affirms that, and I quote, the proclamation of Jesus Christ is the center and primary element of evangelization, end quote. Nonetheless, it explains that this proclamation is realized through dialogues and deeds, 
and specifically in its threefold dialogue with Asian cultures, religions, and the poor. MABC 7 reasserted its preference for the witness of life as the Asian way of proclaiming the Christian gospel in Asia and coined the term, and I quote, active integral evangelization to integrate commitment and service to life, life witness, and threefold dialogue. In conclusion, the MABC realizes that the church would never dominate Asia in the manner that Christendom dominated medieval Europe. And for the church's survival in Asia, it has to become truly rooted in the Asian milieu. Hence, the FABC has chosen to immerse the Asian church in the diverse and pluralistic Asian milieu, sharing life in solidarity with the Asian peoples. The FABC recognizes that diversity and pluralism lies at the heart of what it means to be Asian. As Asia is marked by diversity and torn by conflicts, Therefore, I quote, the church must be in a special way be a sacrament, a visible sign and instrument of unity and harmony. Finally, the church must, and I quote, live in companionship as true partners with all Asians as they pray, work, struggle, and suffer for a better human life, and as they search for the meaning of human life and progress, because the human person is created in Christ, redeemed by Christ, and united by Christ to himself is the way for the church. And therefore the church must walk along with him or her in human solidarity." End quote. Thank you.